I've been interviewing different people from different walks of life. Uh, from your experience, talk to me a little bit about uh, the role of the bad guy and like reflecting on like the significance of it. Well, you know, there's, there's in, any story is, is, is connected to several elements. And one of those elements is the protagonist and the antagonist. And usually the element of the antagonist is usually the bad guy. But in any way, I never look at as, as, a, as someone entering or accepting a role and beginning to work and developing a role. I never think of it as, from the standpoint of being good or bad, you know. A character simply wants something or feels that they need something, you know, within the context of the story. And that happens. And the, sto the story is, is always for whether it's the protagonist or the antagonist, also often has some sort of revelation. And the most important thing is the thing is, what is the revelation? What, what is the journey for e either one of these, the, these, these, these two elements within the story? And the story is defined by that relationship. So the bad guy does, hap it does not happen absent of a context. And within that, it's the development of that that, that I'm find interesting, you know, uh, for me. Whether most people would thought Mr. Mr. Or, or Albert in The Color Purple was a bad guy. But in, in the process of doing Mr. In, in The Color Purple, there's something else that happens also. He's also an evolving human being so that he has a, 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 a what I call a revelation, which is personal, but in some sense has some sort of universality to it, you know, because it's the, the evolution that happens that I think is an important part of the story. That happens, that evolution coincides with the protagonist, in this sense, who would be Celie's evolution.